Hey everyone, good evening. This is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video. Well, in this video, I'm going to design with the Adobe XD because there's a lot of people who are using this application. And I just want to make a content about the Adobe XD start by today until the next 7 days. Okay, I hope you will enjoy. So basically, don't forget to download the Project Master first because I prepared all of the assets such as colors and character style and even the symbols. Well, let's do this. So yeah, in the screen A that we want to design the timeline, uh, new suite for the pictures. So first of all, there's a symbol for the header. So we can click, just drag and drop, and you got it. And actually, the symbol is for the header. So we just need to use this medium, just drag and drop or double click. Oops, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, we have to write the text first and then use this tab like this and then I want to change it as the story story okay and then you put here here and the top it should be zero mm, no maybe four okay nice because i want to provide the menu here for the navigation so after that i will create menu here for the new so i will use this style uh, this one okay new and then we want to setting the margin left and margin top is 10 and I want to give okay so it's gonna be clear and after that I want to duplicate this menu but before that I will prepare the border bottom that this is the menu which is active so we create a rectangle here and then we it like this without any border and use the color which is blue and the height it should be four uh, no maybe two okay so we move here wow very clean is it uh, after that we duplicate this and this is we give the margin 20 and I will give this is the popular and duplicate again but before duplicate I want to change the color to be soft okay and then we duplicate it for the recommendation and duplicate again for the nearby story okay cool story okay I think Adobe HD is very nice to use so let's go on first of all I want to design the rectangle here for my items so I create like this okay and I create like this yeah but we have to aware the margin okay okay nice and give the radius maybe 10 no uh, 6 okay it's enough and I want to actually can we copy this style 
Mm, no. So we only create the shadow here. But I want to make sure the shadow has same style. So it's gonna be 20. Okay. And I think we have to decrease to 6. Okay, nice. And after that, I want to put the image here. So, what I do just drag and drop like this. But can we do masking here? Mm. Oh, I can do masking here. So, first I have to group this. Let me try. Uh, oh, I'm not able. So I think I will remove this. Yeah, actually, when you are using the design tool and you have to find the alternative if it's not able to the sorry, I mean to the so currently I'm not able to do masking so what can I do is only to be adapt to the current tool so I just change the design and here that I can create the text here sorry wait okay I will create a text here this is the story name, maybe you want to try a good pencil and black box. Okay. And I want to change the color and change the font size, sorry, change the font weight to the like. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. But let me fix the margin. Black box are appear. Oops. Okay. And then I want to add the picture here for people well I got the answer why I'm not able to do masking with my image because the images is the symbol so I think you have to provide the your your images because I prepared from the pinterest.com so you can provide it and you can copy a few of them and then I want to create a file here with the ellipse tool. Okay. And I will remove the border and change the fill color to be silver and the border color to be white. And in the ellipse, we group. I will change the name to the pick, and this is name of the item. So in the pick, that I will copy this F1 and we copy this ellipse and then we select those layer to do masking mask with set and you click this and then in the layer F1 which is face number one we can to do scaling like this Okay, and here we go. Okay, so this is your pick. So actually, you just need to copy and paste and move it to the below, like this. But it has to be a circle here, so 
what I do is to delete first and select a pick and create new ellipse with the same size which is 20 by 20 and then I will change the border to the white color and move to the below of mass a group and after that setting the border to 4 then we just need to copy and paste and move this uh, white where is the border so let me change this mm. oh, okay that's so in this pick we can make like this and then we have to setting border to the outside and change the border size to 2 okay now you get the picture like that and then just I want to delete it first and then I want to copy back again and move okay and copy sorry copy and move and then I want to copy again and move so this is should be below of this and then you just need to replace the the image of its face well I did change of those pictures with the different picture and yeah as and I mentioned before that you're not able to change the symbol but actually you're able so basically this are symbol right so you just need to click right and select uh, ungroup symbols and then you're able to edit anything that you want so this is pretty nice so you just need to go to symbol here uh, okay I found one picture for you so as you can see here you're not able to edit so just click right and ungroup symbol and then tada it's editable so just do it okay and then that I can select this rectangle first I want to go to layers by common Y and resize the rectangle okay this is enough but then I need to copy this item just copy and pass and we put here so you will have scroll horizontal for this item I will replace the image with other image that I have prepared but actually you can use from your symbol so here just copy and paste and then we can resize it okay nice so just unlock to make the image more scale but it looks worse so I think I have to prepare one rectangle for this image so I just make like this and like this and we move the layer below of this number one and group it rename as the picture and after that we select uh, mass width set and in the layer number one we resize to be big like this and tada it's pretty nice so I have to move here and remove number four 
so you just need to edit the title USB is getting bigger than if my of yesterday yeah that's a sample and after that we want to add a new section here but before that I want to copy this item and move at the bottom but then we make a new text here as the editor choice and add the style here change the color like this cool and then we setting the margin to 20 and this is 10 but then we have to change and replace that image to different image and I will copy from this USB the picture group and we have to move here yes and after that remove the layer number four and just replace the picture number one with the picture number three so you can use symbol like I mentioned before Okay, just remove and tada! So we have to change the header title now. Hello, blue, green, gray are not really good. And then I want to create the button navigation with this symbol but I want to make it clearly like this okay so basically this is for the navigation button okay and then we just need to select this and click right to ungroup symbol and resize around 24 Okay, and after that we setting like this and just repeat the last steps so this is different menu and current page is uh, image so the rest of menu that we have to setting the opacity to the 10% so this is the design with the Adobe XD for story very nice but I want to do something here in the loft so I can create ellipse for like the small touch but then use the okay. and resize to 4 and this is 4 tada so you will have the icon of notification there thank you don't forget to like comment and share with your friends next nice to meet you from Indonesia goodbye